Hey everybody, I'm Travis Hijok. I'm one of the librarians here at Queens. Today we're going to start doing psychology research using the Everett Library website. So we'll get started at library.queens.edu. That will take you to the home page. And what I want to focus on is the search bar here in the middle. This search is pretty much everything that we have access to, so it's a great place to begin your research. I'm going to start today with a really broad search that's definitely too broad for you to write a paper about, but often when we get started with research, we don't know exactly what we want to explore. Um, so I'm going to go with a really general idea. We'll do social media, mental health. So we can see we got almost 100,000 results, which is way too many for us to sift through. And we can see that we're getting a lot of different types of results, like journal articles, newspapers, books. Uh, but if we just wanted to focus on journal articles, which you'll, need to, um, you'll often need to do for your research, uh, we can choose just those. And a journal article is a paper uh, that's published in something put out by an organization with expertise in the field. So things like Journal of Medi Medical Internet Research, uh, Journal of Adolescent Health. These things are peer reviewed. Uh, we can see that there, um, which means they're public or they're reviewed by other researchers, other experts in the field. So you can be reasonably sure that the information in them is credible uh, and it's put out be by people who know what they're talking about. Um, so when we limited that, we have now 55,000 results, which is still way too many. So we can also limit things by publication date. So you can choose these or you can choose a customized date range if you'd like. I'm going to stick with just one year. And now we can see we've got way fewer results. Still too many to go through, um, but we're getting closer to an amount that's manageable. <clears throat> so now I'm going to look and see what's popping up in these, uh, I'm going to hide this over here, in the... Uh, the titles of these articles. Um, so we can see them focused on young people's experience. Um, this one is a, uh, a tool for measuring um, impact of social media. Uh, this one is talking about social distancing. Um, so there are a lot of different avenues that researchers have approached this broad idea from. So this can give you ideas for how you might focus your research if you're not sure how to do that. Um, and something that I also notice is that here it says social and then media, but it's not uh, specifically social media here. So if I just wanted to focus on social media as a concept, I can do that from my search. I'm going to put quotes around these. So now it's only gonna search for social media as a phrase, um, and I'm gonna do the same thing for mental health. And so now I can see we went from about 7,000 results to just over 1,000. So getting more and more refined as we go. And something that was interesting to me was uh, social media use during the pandemic, during social distancing. So I am going to add a couple other terms here. I... Uh, And we're going to do something kind of crazy here. So I've got three buckets now is how I like to think of it. One is social media. One is mental health. And then one is the pandemic and social distancing and COVID. But I want to search for all of these together. So I have now put bracket or parentheses around here so that it's going to look at all of these together as well as these um, other two terms. So now I'm going to put, uh, because I don't want things that only have all of these terms in them, pandemic, COVID, social distancing, they may only mention one of these words. Uh, and so I'm going to use these operators here that now say we're going to look for things that have social media, mental health, and at least one of these terms. And I'm going to do the same thing with social distancing because I want to search it as a phrase. Uh, so now we're going to get much more refined results going from a little over 1,000 to 372. Uh, and I can see that these titles don't seem super relevant initially, so I can refine this even more if I go to options. 
and I'm going to search for uh, these terms, but only in the title of the publication. So now hit search. And now I've gone down to 17 results. And I can see these titles seem very relevant to um, the idea that I was looking for. Um, and also I want to highlight, as I was doing these searches, I was refining them in the search bar. The filters that I initially chose stuck with it. So uh, you may need to play with this as you go along um, if you find that you limit your results too much. Uh, so when you're doing research, you don't want to just read every article that seems relevant. Uh, first, you want to scroll through the, the titles or scan through the titles and see which ones jump out to you, which ones are interesting, which ones you want to know more about. Uh, and so I'm going to look at this first one here. And I'm off campus, so it's going to have me log in. And it takes us directly to the article. So each article is going to start with an abstract. Abstract just means a summary. So before you start reading the entire article, uh, read the abstracts. If it seems relevant, then save that article and come back to it later. Um, this website that we've linked to gives you options for saving it to the cloud or for emailing it to yourself. You can download a PDF. Uh, so these are handy ways for you to come back to something later. And if we go back to the library website, we can see that we have those same options for saving this item. And that's all we're going to look at for this video. But in class, uh, we'll talk more in depth about using this resource as well as other resources. Thanks. Bye.